Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Easy Speeds and Feeds, and I'll show you how the Easy Speeds and Feeds website works. So, at the top, we got non ferrous, high temp, stainless, steel, cast iron, and personal. Personal goes milling, drilling, and thread mills. What you can do is add your own speeds and feeds into the website. So, the website was originally just a calculator. We could calculate milling, drilling, thread milling. They had different materials like aluminum. We just clicked on 1018 steel. And it also had metric speeds and feeds. Same thing, milling and, and drilling and thread mills and stuff like that. But now we've taken things a step further. So calculating your speeds and feeds takes time. So if you log into our website, you will be given free databases that you can add your own speeds and feeds. So milling, so anything that's that's a milling tool, end mills, inserted cutter, stuff like that, you can add stuff. So if you click on add, which is the green button below, you can scroll down and just add in your speeds and feeds that have already been proven out. So you can type in diameter of your tool. RPM. Feed rate. Depth of cut. Step over. Tool stick out. And your tool ID. So this is basically the number that's on your tool so you can look it up and buy some more if your tool breaks. Or in the future if you run the same part and you forgot how you did it or what tool you had you can go back into Easy Speeds and Feeds, look up your tool data, you know your, your speed, your depth of cut, your step over and where you where the tools from. So this one we're pretending is from Niagara Cutter it's a 3 flu end mill running a high speed toolpath. So that's all we need to know. And we can get back and, and run this job. So you can type in your material you're machining. And you click submit. Now you can go over to edit. And if you tweak your speeds and feeds or anything, you know. If you run this tool a little bit different, you can you can click on it and you can just change things. So let's call it three eighths. Um, can change the the feed rate. We can change anything we want. Change a step over. The idea is you you tweak things and you get an entire library of milling tools that you can you can fall back on if you have a tough job or if you have like a a special way of doing things like if you're really deep counter bores if you have to move, remove material really fast or if you're machining a really crazy material with a special end mill you can look back in your database and see how you did it so we can go over to drilling as you can see I have a couple drills in here I have a through coolant drill and a normal drill see you know, most people don't always run through coolant drills, so it's nice to have your speeds and feeds, your drill cycle, the tool number, and, and basically like how you use the tool. So you can go back when you have to, you know, put holes in really fast. You can look how you did it and just skip the experimentation. You already knew how you did it. And you can go to edit just like milling and then go in here and change things. I'm not going to change anything right here because I like these speeds and feeds. But same thing as milling. So thread mills, again, it's very important to, to save this info, I think, is probably the most important. So you got tool diameter, feed, thread depth, step over, thread size, major slash minor, tool ID, and material. You click on add. Do the same as milling. Fill in your boxes.
Go to edit. And you can change everything just like milling and drilling. Building up your databases really will help you out and it'll take out all the experimentation and it'll just make you a much better machinist. So that's basically it. Um, I hope you guys uh, sign up for this website and use this uh, free tool. And if you want to see more videos on Mastercam, subscribe for more. Thanks.